Hey guys, welcome back. It is a cold Sunday morning here in North Carolina and it's raining outside, which is why I thought I would do some um, indoor work on Matilda today. There she is. And install a 24 volt to 12 volt step down. Now, all of us at some point want to run bells and whistles, light bars, uh, music systems, CB, GMRS radios, all that sort of fun stuff in our military Humvees. But it's a 24 volt system and all of those electronics uh, usually run on 12 volts. So um, today I'll be installing one of these. Uh, it's a Victron Systems Orion 70 amp, 24 to 12 volt step down. See, have a look. And I will also be installing a fuse box. Now this is a 12 circuit fuse box uh, because I'm gonna run a lot of shit through it. And um, yeah, let's, let's have a look at uh, where I bought it from and uh, a closer look at the units themselves. Amazon, uh, you can see it's $145 here. I bought it for 135 it seems to have gone up $10, uh, but that was like a year and a half ago when I bought it. Anyways, you can see it comes with a bunch of, uh, you get different amperages, 8 amp, 10 amp, 20 amp, 25 and 70. Get the 70 one because, you know, you might want to run a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, the highest number of amps makes sense, right? So let's have a look at the unit itself. Um, this is the box it came in. Pretty standard box. And uh, it comes with an instruction page. It's just one page, uh, dual language. And here's the unit itself. Now, as you can see, it has one for the positive input from the 24 volt system. It has uh, an output from the 24 volt to the fuse box and it has a grounding. The green thing that you see is a remote on and off switch. So that has to be connected to um, the starter plug on the Humvee. I'll show you how to do that. So that when your Humvee is off, this thing switches off as well. That just makes sense. It also has a cooling fan on the underneath and uh, tabs to mount it. So. Let's look at the back of it. You've got two tabs down there, two tabs up here. So you can screw it in wherever you want on your Humvee. Here's the fuse box that I'm using. As you can see, it has 12 circuits. So that's going to be very useful. Um, I'd be able to number those circuits as well or put little stickers and, you know, show you where all the fuses are and for what they are. There's a positive going in, negative coming out. Oops. All right. Let's get this show started. Hey, cat. What you doing? Uh, she doesn't give a shit. It's about $50. Goes up and down sometimes. Be sure to get the 12 circuit one with a cover. A little more on the fuse box. Positive bus at the bottom, negative bus at the top. Um, here are the stickers that come with it. I put one of them on and uh, you need to use one of these 0.5 millimeter Sharpies, extremely thin ones, to write, you know, whatever you want to on each of those. So the cover comes off, these little uh, squares here to put the names of the accessories so you know which fuse goes where. Uh, you can see the positive inputs here at the bottom, the main, and the grounding main. Then all the negatives are at the top here. So you can have all the negative circuits come back in, all the positives going out. Funny enough, it comes with one free little fuse. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's it's a really simple one. A uh, couple of screw holes over here to 
screw it in wherever. Fairly simple. If you don't already have them, buy a fuse assortment from Amazon. You get 130 pieces for around 12 bucks. That's not too bad at all, 13 bucks. And uh, it comes with multiples of, you know, different amps. Right from one amp to 40 amp. Good deal, I think. Okay, let's start work on the harnesses. Here's everything you'll need to get started. Let's start with the 100% copper wire, 10 gauge, black and red. This is about 25 feet. Then we have a sleeve tubing, a heat gun, very important, shrink wrap tubing, different sizes, end loops for eight and 10 gauge, measuring tape, wire stripper, and a wire cutter. All right, let's get started. Right, so the harnesses are done here you have the main lead from uh, the negative of the battery the ground that goes into the Orion and you have the positive lead that goes from the positive of the battery to the Orion then you have the positive that goes out of the Orion into the fuse box and you have the negative that comes out of the fuse box, goes back into the negative here, right? And both these negatives feed back into the ground. Okay, so I have all the harnesses that I just built and I'm here at the battery compartment, keeping that there. So, first of all, those are the two batteries I just installed, brand new. And I'll be installing the step down in this area over here, right? Inside, of course. And the fuse box will be part of the center console that I'm building later on. So I will temporarily place the fuse box over there and run lines to the step down. Now, how are we joining this together? You'll see that... Um, you are supposed to connect that point as the main positive. The problem with this is 
that it has a whole bunch of rubber gunk stuck to it, which is really hard to remove. So instead, I'll be running my primary line, my primary positive from the um, lead battery to the positive input on the step down, right? So where this says input 18 to 35V, that's where it'll go. The negative over here will have a line running to this negative block, right? Using one of the harnesses I made. So the first harness goes from here to here. The negative harness goes from there to here. Now the fuse box, the fuse harness goes from this terminal. You can see where it says 10 volt to 15 volt, right? So from this terminal, to the fuse box positive bus and from the negative bus of the fuse box back into this black terminal here where they all ground into that main block right so uh, let's get this all joined together simple enough right All right, so this is the next day. I am working on my AC, but uh, let's have a look at this. So this worked out pretty well. Truck starts up great. Now, I um, wanted to talk to you about this green jumper. You see that? Um, what you're supposed to do is run one line from the left of that jumper all the way to the start switch in the back and uh, that will turn the step down off when the truck is off but i have an even better idea what i'm going to do is put a cut a kill switch from this main negative so once i cut the negative that turns off and i'll put the kill switch up on the console that i'm building over here for the ac all right guys later Ta-da! All right, I've had that 24 to 12 volt step down on my to-do list for quite a long time, and I'm glad it went off without a hitch. I've said it before, do like, do subscribe, um, do share, comment on my posts. Um, really encourages me and uh, helps me to keep making more videos. I will see you guys the next time where I install an AC system. And that's going to be fun and complicated. See you then. Bye.